rolling. Take one. Going to Italy. Alright, so we're walking up the Domo Bell Tower. You can hear everybody <laughs> painting. Uh, many, many steps up. But hopefully the view this is probably only will be worth way. it. Yeah. Nah, it's not halfway. It's not uh, too far. Yeah. Still too far away. That's what I thought. <laughs> we're not even close. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful, but I am terrified right now. Ay, 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 mamma mia. All right, so my legs are really, really wobbly right now. I do not like heights at all. <laughs> at all, but I mean, it is pretty. It's just a little scary. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> I hate heights so much. Mm, yuck. So we just climbed to the top of that. Way up there. Way up there. Just almost as high as that one. So if you get a chance to, you can go underneath the Duomo. There is the old church that was there. It's an archaeological dig. It's actually pretty neat. I would say that that is more interesting than the Duomo itself. You can see here is inside the actual Duomo. And I mean, it's beautiful and grand, um, but it's not necessarily like it is underneath. So we get to experience the real Italian culture. Our train is canceled because of a train strike. We're waiting in the train terminal. We ended up getting stranded this day. And so we ended up just having some dinner with friends of ours. Okay. I'm not sure. All right, so I am eating the classic Florentine steak. Same with Lindsay right here. Um, it looks Florida? amazing. Say hi. You want to say hi? Zanya. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. All right. All right, so yesterday we got stranded because of the rail strike in Italy. There's rail strikes that happen. And uh, we were actually going to go and check out the uh, Colosseum yesterday and spend the day in Rome. And then today we're supposed to go to the Vatican and do the tours of the Vatican. So that all got changed and we ended up spending the whole day trying to figure out plans, rechange things, get timing to get you know get new new train tickets all this kind of stuff we spent many many hours doing that but anyways we're now in rome we got a 6 a.m train thankfully it was running um and now we're in rome and now what we're doing is we're gonna wander and quickly do just a wander and in, in the vatican we don't have a tour or anything like that um and then uh, go see the Colosseum today. We actually rebooked our Vatican tour for later on this month. And we're just gonna go see um, the Colosseum, do a, a, a cool tour. So hopefully we get to show you some of these things. But So I think most of us were really looking forward to this moment when we got to see the Colosseum and the Roman ruins. Um, and it was 
really, really cool to see because of just how amazing their engineering capabilities were and the ability of them to build a civilization. Now, most of it is torn down and has been destroyed. But from the ruins that you can see, it is truly, truly impressive to see what people were able to accomplish many years ago. So apparently we are standing on top of Caesar's Palace right now. At least that's what our guide told us. We're standing on top of Caesar's Palace. It's pretty amazing. So this was cool. This is dice that were found at the bottom of the sewer on the Colosseum and a bunch of chicken bones and things like that. So apparently what they would do is roast chickens in the Colosseum and it was quite dangerous when they did it. And um, some of the people got burnt when it happened. All right, I'm gonna give you just a quick little feeling of what it's like in the Colosseum. It's yeah, absolutely it's daily, life daily life in Italy. We're in the Colosseum and it is absolutely massive. We've got in, in the town that I'm, I'm in, in Tallahassee, we have a massive stadium. And I would say it feels exactly the same way as that stadium. Uh, I think it is. And, and actually it would have seemed and looked far more grand at that time with gold and marble. And it would be flooded sometimes. And it was flooded. It was incredible achievement, I guess you would say, or, you know, atrocity, depending on which way that you looked at it. It was very gruesome. Um, and people were not treated very well. But, but at the same time, the human ingenuity here is just incredible. It's very... Uh, inspiring, inspiring. Andrew, are you? I get ten bucks. Are you? <laughs> I bet so him ten dollars if he can balance all three of those on each other. And I somehow did it. And he somehow managed to do it. I don't know how we are in the Coliseum, so I think he deserves to get the ten dollars or or i could go to that candy shop and i could get like some worth like 15 bucks maybe ten dollars okay. wow well i'll just take, take that's incredible you gotta start <laughs> everybody giving a applause Shh. <gasps> oh bruh <laughs> All right, um, so the boys and I are gonna try one of these hop on, hop off buses. Um, we are just walking to the bus. Uh, we got a good sleep after going and seeing the Coliseum, which is really, really cool. Grandma is going home this morning on the plane. So mom is dropping off grandma at the airport and of course there is a strike that's going on there so it's all up in the air and whether she's gonna get on um but anyways we're gonna go hopefully meet mom Lindsay along the way on the hop on and off bus um but we are just walking to it right now right guys you want to say hi ha. Ha. oh there it is you can see it in the distance yeah. So the boys and I were laughing about YouTuber impressions and I've got this one. We are in Italy. We are in Rome. 
We are going to the Trevi Fountain. Oh my God, there's the Trevi Fountain. Oh, that's that's oh the universe God. right there. So dramatic. Does Jack, Jack doesn't have an impression of a YouTuber? Jack's just like. This is an impression. This is here. You gotta go like this, right? For the impression of a YouTuber. Ready? Ah! Oh ah! <laughs> hey, say that this is the Trevi Fountain. This is the Trevi Fountain. Oh my god! Dun, dun, dun. It's so big! Oh my god! Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the Trevi Fountain. Every trip to Italy is about seeing lots and lots and lots of churches that are just remarkable. Five guys and fries, right guys? Yummy. <laughs> We're in Rome and I know that this is really terrible. We should be eating what the Romans eat. But we are just craving, raving, oh, <laughs> American ease, I guess. Five guys and fries. So we're having burgers, French fries, ketchup, mayonnaise. That looks very, very yummy. <laughs> we're dying for it. There's only so many tomatoes and mozzarella cheese that you can eat. It's amazing. It's lovely. But we're definitely craving a burger. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> yum yum. So this is not the Colosseum, but it is a basically a theater, a Roman theater from many many years ago, from basically the birth of Christ. It's really really cool, and of course you can hear the boys fighting in the background. <laughs> it gets by on them. That'll be a family memory to, to remember. <laughs> there we go. They're fighting each other. <laughs> uh, yeah. We decided to take a um, tour of a um, underneath one of the churches and it is it's one of the, the crypts but it was the original building it was actually a building that was built on top of Roman ruins so this feels very Indiana Jones-ish down here um, it is or it's just really remarkable to be down here. It's dead silent. It's dead silent. It's Dad, cold. Let's leave. And you wanna leave? there's a whole bunch of relics all over the place. This is the other one. It's really, really amazing. And there's nobody here. I would never expect this. This is just one of the most remarkable things yeah. to see. This is amazing. Yeah, we're coming to look. Really? Do you know where mom is? She's right here. This is all these, it's all a bunch of Roman ruins. We'll come with you, Dad. And then the church is built on top of it. Very, very, very spooky. And very cool at the same time. This is Roman ruins. So this but, is an old vase they found. Wow. Uh, oh yeah, here's an old Roman vase. And oh, some sort see. of pipes, I don't know. Wow, crazy. And then a scary part that's coming up. I'm coming, oh yeah. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Yeah. Absolutely crazy. Spooky. Yeah. One of the most coolest things we think to have done. This is a weird part. These are Roman pillars right here. Yeah, this is like, wow. this is all human made. This is, really? This is the end of our tour. One of the coolest, like, creepy.
creepiest things ever. Wow. All right, so that church was truly an interesting experience, to say the least. I think everybody was... Uh, it's a, it's a crazy feeling to be in, in that crypt. Uh, there's, there's definitely a lot of... Um, there's definitely people down there, um, a lot of spirits. Um, anyways, we're walking back now. We are all very, very hot. I think it's like 38, almost 40 degrees Celsius. It's pretty warm. I think we're all done. Um, we're hot and sweaty. We just need some time and we're gonna go chill at this moment, I think. <laughs> and cool off. The next day. We had another walking tour, and it's actually really great because our guide was talking a bit about Mussolini and how uh, Mussolini actually destroyed some of the buildings around here, which is very interesting. That column is like 2,000 years old, and the artwork on it is spectacular. It used to be all painted. Um, and now there's, I think they said St. Peter's on top, um, but it used to be actually the first Roman Empire, um, or Emperor, I don't know if it was, no, it was somebody else, it was the next one that was loved. And this is the forum, um, that was part of it, like a shopping center, basically. It's amazing. Lindsay booked us on a bus tour. Today we're gonna go see Tuscany. Just a couple of the communities around in Tuscany. We're gonna do some exploring. We're gonna hopefully enjoy it. up we're on this wall which is from a cat castle it's more like a a fortress i would say than a castle but they were calling it a castle um but anyways i want you to see like the the, the greats give me a huge heebie-jeebie like that gives me the heebie-jeebies because it's probably about 30 or 40 feet down and you can see through the greats and i don't like heights all right, so this cathedral in San Jose, uh, I'm blanking on the name, Siena, um, it took 600 years to make and kind of reminds me whenever I'm doing anything that takes a long time that 600 years and the thing that I'm working on can take a little longer. <laughs> did Sienna and her tying of heat because it's the hottest day of the year so far. We're doing a wine tasting um, on the tour bus. It's kind of neat. Like you could see some of that. It's got um, stuff. Apparently the kids are going to drink Chianti. <laughs> we'll see. All right. What do you think of wine? Look at that. This is our wine tasting. A wine tasting? Yeah, with all this stuff. I wouldn't do that. That's pretty nice. Trying. Yum, yum. Ladies and gentlemen, this we is the car the that Dumb and Dumber would use if they went to Italy. Right there. <laughs> Alleyways. 
Uh, it's crazy, but it's cool. It's all good. And way down, you can't tell. It's like really steep. Probably 45 degree angle. Uh, and then we're going up. A few days later, we went to the Da Vinci Museum and you just find out that the guy was just a total genius and had a remarkable opportunity to use this ingenuity that other people could not do in the past and also got a claim for it. And then that night we went for a walk all the way up to the hill. I think it's called Michelangelo's um, Piazza, I believe, and take a look at this view on the way back. This was the sun setting on the Ponte Vecchia, and it was just a beautiful night, and we had some gelato, of course. So we decided to go to a water park today. In the middle of nowhere. And the water park, I think it's just a pool, but it took about an hour and a half on a city bus to get here. Um, and we're really, really, really far. I don't even think we're in Florence anymore. I think we're really far from Florence. But uh, you can see we're in basically Tuscany now. Um, so we're gonna go see this water park and explore it after all of that. All right. So I should have recorded us swimming, but eh, I don't know, it's a little uncomfortable doing that. But anyways, we just went swimming at this amazing place called uh, Hydron. Uh, and it's, it was a journey and we got a journey to get back on, on two buses. It's gonna take us an hour and a half, but um, it was fun. They had water slides and um, all sorts of other water things that were there. And we spent the day just having a good time. The next day. All right, so today we took a trip. We are in Bologna. We took the train this morning. Now we are gonna do a self-guided walking tour, hopefully grab some food, because that's what Bologna is known for. They're <laughs> bologna um, and parmesan and all of that kind of stuff um, and then hopefully I don't know maybe we'll see the university or the world's oldest university checking out the market there's some unbelievable stuff here I know some good shoes that's so cool So this is a Meridian line and exactly 12 noon. It's really close to 12 noon right now. It tells the, I believe it's the date and the time and where the sun is falling right there. Gives you an estimate of the date and the time. You can see how long it actually is. It was really, 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 really far all the way over there. All right, Andrew found where the the sun is coming through. Right way up there. I don't know. See, there's a little light hole that's coming through. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, just to prove, there's Andrew. Um, just to prove that science and um, a science originated from the church. Uh, here is the exact cathedral, and that is the first university at that moment, where they would they were supposed to be connected. 
science started. Absolutely, it's very, very it's cool. Bill Nye the science guy would not have a job. No, not at all. Homeless. <laughs> I, well, I don't know, he might be homeless. But this is the world's oldest university. Um, and it's right connected to the church that it just showed you or right beside it. It's pretty interesting. So this is the first law school. And you can see it's pretty, it looks like a lot of law schools today. Um, it's pretty wild to see. And it's got this book smell in here. Um, I wish everybody could smell it. It does smell like old books. Um, it actually smells really good. But you can see all of these crazy old books that are in there. It's very cool. All right, this is totally nerdy and very cool though. If you look at this, there are books by Euler and there's Laplace. Um, this is in the, in the library. Um, yeah, right there in Laplace. That's amazing. So cool. These old, 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 old books. So this is called the theater room. Um, and what they would do, this is the first room where they dissected people um, to understand anatomy. So basically it's, it's the theater where they first discovered medicine. And the uh, 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 hippo... Uh, uh, the Hippocratic Oath is from here. There's uh, hip hypocrisy right there. Hi Hippocrates. <laughs> All right, that is the sandwich from Moe's. Looks pretty good. Yum. Yar. What do you think? It's good. I don't know. I wish you could eat the. I wish you could see this. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. It's good. So we decided um, to hit one of these sort of cheesy train tour things. Um, and it's, thank God, because it started to hail. Well, it started to rain it's, it's hailing out. I don't know if you can see it. Everybody's getting pelted. Oh my God, it's so loud. I know. We're... I know, this is really realistic. I think this is clay, uh, uh, a wax. Uh, look at, look at this. But this is, look at, this is the carriage from the family. It's so big. It's amazing. <laughs> Look at this train station in Bologna, it's massive, huge. We're walking and walking and walking and everybody is tired. So it's, it's been like a 30 minute walk. Yes.